Hey guys, today I'm going to show you an app called Set CPU, or Set CPU for Root Users is the official name. It's about $2 in the Android market, made by Michael Huang. Very highly rated app at 5 stars. And basically, what it allows you to do is it allows you to change the settings of your CPU. Um, the first thing you want to do when you open the app is to set, to set this up is you want to go under device selection. Now, under device selection, you know, it lists all this stuff. And it's actually important, so you might want to read it. Basically, if you're on any phone, you want to first auto-detect the speeds um, and figure it out. You really don't need to show other frequency sets. Uh, just auto-detect speeds, and it will, bam, detect it. Now, a problem with CyanogenMod 6 is... <sighs> friends, friends, friends. Okay, A problem with CyanogenMod 6 is that it currently lists the CPU at overclocked when it's actually not. But, um... If you're running any other ROM or doing any other, you know, kernel, it will show it accurately. Now, if you are in a stock, or if you're on the stock kernel, or you're running in uh, an HTC kernel, what you want to do is hit menu, you want to hit perflock disabler, um, and what this does is it allows it to be messed with, um, because it actually has actual settings that tell it what to do, and it'll cancel those out, and... Um, allow set CPU to do work. Now, there's several aspects to set CPU. As you can see, all the options are right up at the top. Uh, let's go from left to right. We'll go to profiles. Profiles, pretty simple, pretty easy to understand. What you want to do is you want to add a profile, and this profile will specify when you want the uh, phone to be overclocked or underclocked. Now, one of my favorite profiles here is screen off, one of the most useful. Screen off um, basically says that when your screen is turned off and you lock your phone, it will down, eesh, it will bring down the CPU speed so it does not use as much uh, power. This is very helpful, and if you're running any ROM with an overclocked or undervolted, um, this will greatly increase your battery life. And you definitely want to set the priority on that, which is high. And scaling is obviously on demand, so if it needs more CPU, it will obviously take it, but um, you're restricting most things to the maximum that you have set. So now when I turn my screen off, it would go to 384 megahertz, saving me lots of battery instead of running at a gigahertz. See what I'm saying? All right. Um, you want to enable those. And notifications, you don't need to turn those on unless you want to see it up here in the bar, but there's no real need for that. Uh, no real menu options in that. Next is the advanced. Uh, you really probably shouldn't mess with this. Uh, it just shows sampling rate, when it's going to take uh, its samples on the CPU to adjust things, um, ignoring load, power saving. Uh, really don't need to go into that unless you exa know exactly what you're doing. Info about the app. This is kind of cool. It shows you temperature speeds, battery life, um, the time in each state, lots of memory things. And you can bench test it, short, long, native, or stress test to see how long your phone goes, you know, um, running a certain process. And you can see, actually, the performance of the CPU within this app, too. Um, I'm not a developer, so I really don't know how to use any of that. But it's kind of cool to look at and see the stats. Um, yeah. The last section would be about. Um, setting When you're setting up your set CPU, you really don't need to mess with this. Um, you can change your theme if you want, I guess, to any of these. I just kind of stick with the default. It's kind of cool. Um, really not something I go into every day. Kind of, you know, set and forget it. And I obviously put a widget on my desktop to see the temperatures and what I'm currently running at. So, yeah, that is set CPU. If you need any help setting it up, leave a comment down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible.